Good morning, everyone. Tim Wilmot here uh, from Wizard Systems, joined as always by my colleague Peter Johnson. Um, we're suppliers of Workbook CRM and we help organizations use simple and affordable solutions like Workbooks to help improve their sales, marketing, and customer service. So our mini, our series of mini training sessions continues, and this is sort of a part three in a four part series on quoting, the different options for quoting, um, different outputs, uh, ways of creating your quotes with Workbook CRM. And today we're gonna feature the very new word link with Workbooks. So many of you may be using Word in your organization to create forms, templates, and this now is another um, quoting option that's available for you as standard with workbooks, nothing else is all included. So this presentation will be about 10 minutes or so, in, well, quarter hour or so in duration, just an overview of the Word integration with workbooks, not meant to be sort of in-depth training, just really an overview at this stage, just to show the, 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 the key capabilities of that link. And my company, Wizard Systems, we offer lots of additional training options if you want to explore those with us. We're all working from home right now, so all of our training is online. When I hand over to Pete, if there's bird sounds in the background, it's because he's got his windows open, it's quite a hot day. This is, um, so if you listen to this on YouTube, um, this is uh, towards the end of June, 2020, so we're still in lockdown, we're working from home right now, um, but that shouldn't affect our presentation too, too unduly. The audio part of the presentation is one way only. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel and we'll do our best to answer those at the end. Also, this call is being recorded. You will get um, an email from our system with a link to the recording, maybe after a day or so, and it will be up on our YouTube channel as well. Um, quick mention about Wizard Systems, long-standing CRM specialists. Workbooks is one of a few different CRM solutions that we provide and we've implemented well over 3,000 systems um, over that time. And we provide the complete package, the complete service around workbooks. So if you've got any, so we provide the system, we provision the system for you, we do the implementation, customize it to your requirements, um, any kind of training, of course, that's online right now, um, but hopefully we'll be able to get back into our Bristol base quite soon when it's safe for us and our customers to do so. And we offer a help desk support service as well. Um, all working from home, business as usual right now, but yeah, ready to answer any of your calls. So I'm now gonna hand over to um, Pete to take us through the new word link. Oops, okay, over to you, Pete. Okay, thanks, Tim. Um, so just a quick check. You could hear me and see my screen? Yeah. Great, okay, and the birds that you might mention in the background. So, um, okay, so good morning to everybody uh, that's uh, attending today. And um, we're gonna have a look at today, uh, as Tim mentioned, uh, part three, if you like, of the little series that we're doing on um, producing quotes and uh, the output of those in different formats. And we're gonna have a look at the Word um, format today. Now, the, uh, the Word add-in, for workbooks was released in April of this year, 2020. And um, it, it's available in many parts of the system. So you can create a word uh, template uh, in all aspects or all, all areas. So contacts, organizations and so on. But we're gonna concentrate on the quoting area today. Now, my plan is to show you the the process of uh, producing the uh, word output um, so you can see how easy and quickly that can be done and then I'm going to just um, introduce you to the component parts of how it's uh, input. I, I guess I must say to start with that uh, the add-in is um, developed for working with Office 365 so you do need uh, the Office 365 and then the um, rollout is um, very quick and easy. I'll show you the, uh, the area that um, 
the, the help files are uh, pretty good on the implementation into 365 to produce the add-in uh, and then once done it works uh, really well so um, in the last couple of sessions, I showed you a diff couple of different ways of producing quotes. So I'm going to actually just go straight into a quote uh, in this session that I've um, had a look at before. So this is um, a particular quote. This should be reminiscent of your quote screens in your own system. I've done a bit of customization here. Um, so I've got the odd extra fields and so on, but uh, nothing too unusual um, with the fields at the top uh, after creating the quote and then uh, the line items in that quote produced um, throughout the sales process. So uh, when it comes to output, we've already had a look at generating PDFs and emails so far. Um, I'm gonna go over to this menu now. This is because I've got the uh, word add-in and I've already produced a layout and this could be a number of different layouts, um, perhaps different language versions, that type of thing, um, each with a, uh, an intuitive name so your users can uh, pull that down and uh, see those. So I'm gonna choose uh, here to generate a customer quotation and you can see what it's done straight away is give me the download option uh, in the normal kind of hosted um, provide a way uh, I can choose open or save this to a document so this should fire up word now depending on your security access uh, that you have into your word documents um, and levels of security you may need to enable editing which I'm going to do in this example and you can see uh, once done I get this uh, add-in panel in Word over on the right hand side um, but what it's done uh, in this document is fully fill in uh, all of the details from the quote record that's currently in uh, workbooks. So I've got the name and address of the person I'm talking to. All of these are uh, merged into the document and we've got line items down here. Now the design of this is entirely up to you. Um, so uh, it's a, a very simple kind of design process with a, a Word document and uh, nice and easy to produce. And you can see there how quick and easy that is. Um, to produce that document and of course uh, you may choose to save it in the normal way um, and also uh, email it that type of thing um, print it off whichever uh, you decide to do there's also uh, over in the panel over here on the right hand side the ability to upload the document um, produce a PDF and upload it back into um, workbooks so if I choose that option actually uh, you can see uh, it takes a few seconds, but it's then done and it's uploaded the document um, into workbook. So if I go back to my uh, workbooks quote, well, I'm just going to do a quick save. So it just updates the, the tabs here uh, in terms of numbers. Now, that's obviously produced that. We sent it to the customer, which it, in whatever way that you wish to do. Um, but you'll also notice the files tab over here um, on the quote record. And you can see here, here is that PDF. So if any other users need to see that particular document, uh, they would uh, click on it, do the download and open up as a PDF in the normal way. So you can see there, uh, quick and easy and um, another way of producing the quote output um, for workbooks. So let me just show you around this a little bit. Now there is the uh, implementation that you have to do uh, for this. So you do deploy it. Um, and I guess the easiest way to show you that is the is the uh, knowledge base article on deploying that in 365. So uh, very simple instructions. So your uh, 365 administrator uh, would be able to do that uh, really simply. And then the generation of the uh, word output um, is in really three parts I would say so uh, you have to produce the word document so that layout if you like with any merge fields in you also um, create a report um, that populates that and I'll show you the report I've got in a moment it doesn't matter which way around you do those but the final part of that is then bringing the two together um, by producing a, a template area within 
uh, workbooks to allow this to be shown in the menu. You really tell it where the document is, you upload it, and then you uh, link it to a particular report. So I'm going to start off by showing you the uh, Word layout. I've actually got the, the design document uh, here. Uh, shows you what it looks like in its raw state so I don't know whether you can see this um, I've got uh, in um, square brackets you can see there are mail merge fields in here uh, which have been produced uh, and you can just type these in now these actually match the exact column names that are in a particular report I'll show you in a moment so when you do the mail merge it looks down the report and brings in the column uh, information uh, and they've got the table here for each of the items, totals and things like that. Um, and then if you do produce these, uh, as Tim mentioned, we can um, take you through and guide you through the training. This is uh, intended as a as a short uh, view of this. Um, but uh, essentially, you generate this document with your merge fields in. Uh, you create a binding, so you bind the template. If you do want to adjust a previously created template, such as this one, you remove the binding, edit it, and then rebind it back to uh, workbooks. So once you've done that document, uh, you then uh, in workbooks would go and produce a report. So if I go into the report that I've designed to populate this, this is nothing uh, difficult that uh, a standard uh, trained user wouldn't uh, have any issues doing. Um, so let me uh, just open this so here's my and I give it a, a fairly intuitive name so I know which one it is uh, you may want to label these not to be deleted and so forth but I don't know you can see here if I extend this out each of the columns so I've got um, quote number contact company these match those uh, mail merge fields that are in uh, the document that I just showed you so step one and two is to produce a report and a Word document that, that link to each other. So it doesn't matter which order you do those in. And then the final step uh, is to produce a template uh, to bring the two together. So um, in a similar way, actually, to the email option that we used uh, in our last session, we would go to marketing templates. And if you've produced the add-in, uh, and done that deployment, then you will get uh, this Word template option here. Um, and you can see in here, you can choose what type of record that links to. If I just go back a section here, um, I'm going to go down here to the one I produced that's outputting this one. Uh, customer quotation word template. So you can see in here when you uh, file through that, you give it uh, an intuitive name here. Um, you can also uh, point then to the report. Uh, so you can see here uh, this points to my report. So I've chosen that report that I've just shown you. And then what you do is you upload the document that's associated uh, with that binding. So um, what you do is you would browse locally to the quote document uh, that you do, uploads it, um, the one that you've bound uh, into your workbooks uh, application. So if I choose that, you can see, go straight in here. You can also download it and edit it from here and then re-upload it. So the process for that would be to click here, download it, unbind it, produce any changes, and then re-upload it to this a template offering. So what this actually does is bring together the report and the document that you've uploaded and then produces the menu within that uh, record type under this generate word option here. So uh, a few steps to create it but once done um, really quick and simple for users uh, to produce that output. So Quote option number three in our little series is the output to a Word uh, template. Uh, Tim, over to yourself. Yeah, thanks, Peter. So uh, this is this is a, a long-awaited add-on to Workbooks functionality, and hopefully you can see it really does extend the options you've got 
for creating and and merging information into documents from from the workbooks application. So we're now ready. Uh, you'll be used to format those regular attendees. Uh, a little Q and A session. Um, so please type in your question into the uh, question section on your meeting control panel, and we'll do our best to answer those. So first question from uh, Deepak. Am I able am I able to use the word option to make a run of invoices ready to post? Uh, Pete, your microphone is on mute. My apologies, Tim, thank you. Um, the answer to that is that the word add-in really is um, created for a single output for the document that you're on. So this could be, for example, a, a letter to a, a person record or uh, uh, information or even a, a statement type uh, document uh, based on the report that we've seen. So if you do want to do a run and you have maybe the invoice uh, area, so within workbooks, you, you can have the business edition, so you can create a report of all of the invoices that are due. The simplest way to do that is using Word, uh, if you wanted to, um, is to just output the report. Uh, so if I go into uh, the report here, so uh, you'd have a report based on your... You'd have a report based on your invoices. Easiest way is to export them and then use the standard mail merge. Once you've produced a mail merge document in good old fashioned mail merging word, really easy to run that. And of course, everything matches every time you do this. So if you were doing your invoicing on a monthly basis, you'd create a report. We can also automate this so it outputs it to a particular location on a regular basis with a, a small script, uh, but outputs it, um, print, and then uh, do a mail merging word. So not from the word add-in, but it is really simple to do uh, if we can uh, spend some time and guide you through that um, if you wanted to. Okay, uh, next question from Adam. How would I email the quote? Oh yeah, I didn't actually do that, did I? So um, if I if I produce the, the word quote, um, you would email it in the normal way um, because you're in Office 365. Um, no doubt you're um, emailing from any of the Office documents. So let's go into, uh, which one was it? I've just, I've got all these open. So here's my quote. Done and populated and in the normal way, um, easiest way from to do it in word is probably go to the share option and um, as a pdf so it's going to produce a pdf and then brings up your email window and it's attached to the pdf and you can produce your uh, output in your email remember as well if you have um if you have the uh, wes uh, functionality that links to 365 you'll also get that um, workbooks banner over on the right hand side here, the add-in. If you're using WES, you can very easily uh, link it to other uh, areas of the system, so it uploads it and produces it. Or of course, if you haven't got that and you're doing it in this way, you can also uh, use your email Dropbox facility. I think this is a, a little session we did earlier in this series. Um, you could BCC uh, your, your workbooks email Dropbox and then this email and the PDF attached would show against the record within workbooks so quick and easy to do I would suggest in that way okay and I think the last question is from Daniela and we've got more proposal style layouts rather than a one-page quote can we use it for proposals uh, yeah, absolutely. So you can see uh, in the fact that I've got a very simple quote layout here, um, nothing wrong with producing that document in all of the um, glory that a, a proposal, uh, your standard proposal layout looks like. And of course, because you're bringing it from a record within 
uh, workbooks, you can pre-fill any part of it. Um, what I would suggest is that if you are going to do that, you bring all of the information that you need to mail merge into that document into the quote record. It's quite easy to do, creating dynamic link items and, and things into the layout. And then when you produce that Word document, it of course pops up. And because it's Word, you can add the text that you need to to the documents. You can customize it, tweak it. But all of the relevant information is there. And of course, once done, that ability to upload it as a PDF is a great tool to have the proposal document that you've created linked to the record in workbooks against this files tab so everybody's got access to see that uh, final finished document it's really useful to be able to produce that um, and add the content that you wish to after the fact good question oh thanks okay uh thanks to the three of you for asking those questions uh, so that concludes our um, little mini training session for this week. Uh, next week, we're going to finish off our quotation series with using the um, Google Docs. You might be using G Suite, Google Docs, um, another, another a, a fourth option for doing quotes. So hopefully you'll join us. And if you've got any, any ideas about future training topics like this, something that would be of interest to the community at large, then please email me, um, tim at wizard-system.com, or you can email um, Pete at peter, peter at wizard-systems.com. Uh, there's our contact details. We'll upload this to our YouTube channel as well. There's loads of um, workbooks videos. I think it's about well over 40 workbooks videos that we've got on our YouTube channel. So just go up to all one word wizard systems um you'll see our workbook playlist up there but thanks very much um those of you attending live thanks very much indeed for your time um enjoy the rest of your day and the sunshine we're having right now in the uk and we'll catch up with you same time next week thanks very much indeed bye-bye thanks bye